What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the next Call of Duty game that we can expect. Now I know it's super early on, and this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm just writing off Black Ops 4 or anything like that. It's just that time of the year where we start to get a few little indications of what may be coming for the next Call of Duty game. And I wanted to chime in on this just because I've been getting a ton of people asking me what my thoughts are on these little pieces of information we've been getting. So throughout the past week, a few things have come to light regarding the next Call of Duty game. Some of these are leaks from insiders that often do get that sort of early information. And we also got some direct statements from Activision in their quarter four earnings call. Now the most important quote to pull from this was from the CFO of Activision, and he specifically stated that this next Call of Duty game is going to be rooted in some of the franchise's important history. This quote here is what's leading many to believe that we will be seeing something that is related to the Modern Warfare series, and quite possibly Modern Warfare 4. Of course, at this point, it isn't confirmed to be Modern Warfare 4, but it's extremely unlikely we would be seeing Infinite Warfare 2 or even Ghosts 2 because both of those games didn't really do too well and I wouldn't call those really an important part of the franchise's history. I would say the most important part of the franchise history, especially from the Infinity Ward standpoint, was with the Modern Warfare series. So to me at least, it seems pretty clear that that's the direction they're going with this year's Call of Duty game, and to me that's very exciting. Now, assuming this is Modern Warfare 4, or maybe they won't call it Modern Warfare 4, but it's a game that is essentially part of the Modern Warfare series, I wanted to share in the rest of this video, I thought it would just be kind of fun to share what I feel would be the perfect way to handle it this time around. This is something that a lot of people have been asking me about. They want to know my opinion on like what I think the next Call of Duty should be and how it should be organized and everything. So from here on out in the video, this is just my opinions on what I personally would like to see based on my experiences over the years with Call of Duty and what I feel would also be a great commercial success. So looking at the bigger picture and transitioning into what we're going to just call Modern Warfare 4 throughout the rest of this video, there's a few things I've seen in the community that I really like the sound of. First up, how are they going to handle Battle Royale? Well, it has been confirmed that the next Call of Duty game will be having a campaign, and therefore I think it's unlikely that we'll be seeing a brand new Battle Royale experience attached to the next Call of Duty game. Instead, I think it would be great if at some point in the hopefully not too distant future, they branch Blackout away from Black Ops 4 and it becomes its own game. This is definitely something that should be possible and viable, and in doing so, I also feel they should make it free to play so it will properly compete with the other Battle Royales in the market. And with this, if possible, assign a dedicated team to handle Blackout going forward so Treyarch can start working on their next game. Then, something that I really like the sounds of that actually was tweeted by Robert Bowling is create a new map for Blackout that is Modern Warfare themed. So all of the named locations, instead of being maps from the Black Ops series, make them maps from the Modern Warfare series. Also bring in some character models as well as weapons from the Modern Warfare series. This would be a great way to hype up the new game as well as breathe a lot of life back into Blackout. And it would also be great to see Blackout naturally progress rather than starting from scratch every single year with a new Battle Royale experience. In doing so, this would also free up a ton of resources for the next Call of Duty game so they can really put that focus on campaign, multiplayer, and whatever their co-op experience is going to be. I do personally hope it'll be zombies so it doesn't completely destroy the zombies community out there that has grown to be so large. I like the way that they handled zombies in Infinite Warfare where they kind of did their own take on it and they didn't take themselves too seriously with it. And I would like to see something like that return. As for campaign, I don't really have too many opinions on that. I'm not much of a campaign gamer, but I am excited to see that there is going to be a Call of Duty campaign this year. The main thing I want to talk about today is multiplayer. How are they going to handle multiplayer? First and foremost, I would completely rework their DLC model. I would make it so maps are free for everybody throughout the year. This will keep the player base together. This will keep player engagement high throughout the year because even people without the season pass, they will have this new content that will bring them back to the game. And these days, with the way that microtransactions work, player engagement should be one of the key focuses. In doing so, they could still easily sell a season pass, just change up how it works. Make it so you get instant access to any new weapons that are added to the game, whereas people without the season pass, they have to grind pretty hard to get those unlocked. Or if you have like a daily login bonus system like we saw in Infinite Warfare, double that for season pass holders. In addition to that, if you had daily or weekly challenges, you could give extra daily and weekly challenges to those season pass holders to give them something more to work towards. There are tons of different benefits and incentives you can provide to season pass holders without locking the maps behind that season pass. Now speaking a bit more about player engagement, I would really like to see a World War II-like event system. I feel like COD World War II handled their events better than any Call of Duty game we've seen so far, and that was excellent for player engagement. I would really like to see something like that return. 
And this brings us to the next thing that I'd love to see happen in the next Call of Duty game, and that is take a step back and focus on what Call of Duty was known for and good at. In recent years, it feels like they've been drawing inspiration from several other games out there in the market and kind of forcing it into the Call of Duty platform instead of taking what people love about Call of Duty and polishing it and making it better. I'm not saying just go back in time and copy and paste the game like it was 10 years ago, because that simply won't work. We saw that with Modern Warfare Remastered. But personally, I'd like to see them drop stuff like the specialist system. I, I feel like Call of Duty was better before that system existed, and it doesn't need that hero style system. I would love it if the general gameplay went back to the Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 days. And this is where we're going to start getting into the gameplay related stuff and more of the specifics of the game. Like I said, I would love Modern Warfare 4 to be coming out and I would love it to feel as though it's a natural progression from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Of course, still bring in several of the innovations we've seen in Call of Duty over the years that have worked quite well. So like the Pick 10 system, I think that's something that the vast majority of Call of Duty players think was a great addition to the game back in Black Ops 2. Same thing goes with things like theater mode or that feature that they added in Infinite Warfare that they're still using today where the map will load in the background of the lobby instead of sitting for a loading screen. That was such a great addition to the game, relatively minor, but also things like score streaks, for instance. I feel like that was a great progression within the Call of Duty franchise and that should return as well rather than just dialing it back in time and making it the killstreak system like we had in Modern Warfare 2. Also things like combat records, medals, the dark ops challenges, having those dark matter camos, and having like daily and weekly challenges. These are all great additions to the game over the years that hasn't gotten away from what Call of Duty is. It's just been sort of that natural progression of Call of Duty and these have been great steps in the right direction for the franchise. Bring those things back, but drop all the unnecessary gimmicks that they've brought in. Drop the specialists or the division system, the fog of war mechanic, the manual healing, the 150 health. Drop all that stuff, go back and focus on what Call of Duty was good at, and modernize it, take what has been successful with the franchise, and continue from there. That's personally what I would love to see. So gameplay wise, like I said, basically Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 hybrid that's modernized. I'd love to see the map design more along the lines of the Modern Warfare 2 maps with a lot of variety. Not necessarily a really strict symmetrical three lane pattern on all of the maps, but of course have some of those maps out there for the really competitive players. Of course, some of the perks would have to be rebalanced or new perks added like Black Jacket, for instance, and get rid of that whole one man army danger close noob tube combination for Modern Warfare 2. I would like to see the different strike packages return. So we used to have the specialist strike package where as you get more kills, you get more perks, which made you more powerful. But in doing so, you sacrificed having a streak that would get kills for you. Also support streaks. I would love to see them return as long as they remain non-lethal. I think that's great for those players that are either new to the game or just not really confident with the game and unable to go on streaks. I think it's fine to give them little things that can help the team out as long as it's not directly killing enemies and then also have the assault streaks, which are our traditional sort of kill streaks. Of course, with this, we'd also have to have that Moab style streak. So if you go on a 25 gun streak, then you get something that blows up and kills everybody on the map and everybody gets to see it rather than just a medal. This is something that I'm very confident we'll see because that's kind of Infinity Ward's thing. As far as content at launch goes, I really hope that we actually see a lot of real content at launch. So tons of multiplayer maps, like minimum 15 brand new multiplayer maps at launch. I really feel this will help with player retention as well because something that I really disliked about COD World War II is how few maps it launched with. That game became very stale very fast because it felt like you were just playing on the same set of maps over and over again because you were. Back in the day, Call of Duties used to launch with 15 to 17 maps. I would love to see something like that return with this upcoming Call of Duty game, especially because we likely aren't going to be seeing a brand new Battle Royale attached to this game. Same thing goes with guns. I really feel they should be launching with a wide variety of guns. And then of course you still add guns on top of that, but the more guns you have at launch, the more likely you are to keep players interested for a longer period of time. And like I said earlier, player retention and player engagement should be one of the key focuses of this game. In addition to that, I really hope they have their act together at launch this time and we actually have all of the core features available day one. So I'm talking all those things like leaderboards, combat records, league play, or I guess I could understand league play coming like a month after launch because you want the initial launch to just focus on the public matches and then you can get that worked out a little bit later on but don't put that stuff off for many, many months and have the players wondering what's going on. It's kind of frustrating that lately with Call of Duty, it seems like at launch, we don't quite have the complete game. It's something we have to wait for as the year goes on. And I think that's unacceptable when it comes to a lot of these core features. 
And with that, I think that pretty much wraps up the general feeling I have towards the next Call of Duty game and what I personally would love to see them do. I am really hoping it's going to be Modern Warfare 4 this time around. It seems like that's going to be the case. And I guess we'll just have to wait and find out once things start to get revealed within the upcoming months. Of course, I'd love to know in the comment section below. First off, do you think it's going to be Modern Warfare 4 this time around? And second, what would you like to see this upcoming year for Call of Duty? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.